Hey guys, Craig here from Magic TV. Now, over the course of this week, I have been speaking to the, the movers, the shakers, the dealers, the producers, the people that are down in the dealer hall at the Backfield Magic Convention that are making you spend your hard-earned money on the latest and greatest tricks. That's the place that everyone wants to go, the dealer hall. And when you think about Magic Dealer Halls for the last 30 years, the person who we consider to be the greatest pitch man in Magic, the person who can literally sell ice to Eskimos, the person who has been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, and you know you're going to walk past his booth and you're going to pick up everything because that's how good he is and it's always incredible material is Mark Mason. I am super glad to have right here in front of me right now, the legend himself and I genuinely mean legend and I do not use that word lightly the legend Mark <laughs> How you doing, Mark? You all right, mate? Hello, Craig. How you doing? I'm good. I'm always excited this time of the year, sitting down, chatting to you, talking about uh, stuff that you've spent the last year working on. I thought you were only going to talk to me this year and no other dealers. You just said you've talked to loads. Got to spread the love out, man. Got to spread. The love out. <laughs> Although this uh, this afternoon, I was on the phone to Peter Nardi, and he told me to say hi to you. So there you go. Well, me and Peter have been friends a long, long time. Uh, he told I, don't me, about, I don't know about us lot. You're like record number one guy now. Everywhere I go, it's Craig Petty this, Craig Petty. I tell you how much you're on my mind, right? Not a joke. I never told you this. I'm a massive Tom Petty fan. Huge. I love Tom Petty. So yeah, the other day, I'm in, I'm in my house, and, I've, and I say, I better not say it because she'll come on. I say, Alexa, play songs by Tom Petty. But I said, play songs by Craig Petty. And it came on and went, we have no songs by Craig Petty. And I went, I play them all the time. Alexa, because you just have just been in my mind, right? And oh instead of saying God. Tom, I said, Craig, that's how famous you are. Well, I tell you what, Alexa I'm like Marmite. Off. Alexa, <laughs> off. Yeah, you're Marmite, you I guess. I'm like Marmite. You either love me or hate me. You, well, like peanut butter, everybody loves you, mate. Everybody well, loves you. Oh, thanks. Me. And you are right. I've been working on five items for the back of the last year with different producers, some of my own, some with other people. I'm absolutely delighted with this year's batch of five tricks. Um, I've just been to Columbus, you... and anybody watching this, before they jump on the wagon, there was only four there. I wasn't. We have a coin gimmick that one isn't ready till next week, and two, I wasn't allowed to take it to anywhere before Blackpool. I promised Shooter Gower and... And the guys who who, uh, who did the filming that would release it at Blackpool. So, but there will be five. Well, I want to talk about all of them, but before we do, I, I really like the way that you do things, which is you spend a year working on new items, you bring them out at Blackpool. Just, it's not available on your site. You can only really get them from Blackpool. Correct. And throughout the course of the year, we'll see them drop into Murphy's throughout the year, and eventually you'll get them. But you know, I've I've spoke to people in the past that have been to Blackpool and they've watched one of these videos that we've done and they've said, oh, I really like this. And then after Blackpool, they haven't picked it up and they're like, where can I get it from? And I'm like, well, knowing Mark, it's probably uh, going to be about six months before you can pick it up. Uh, you know, there is no big secret. I'm now really pretty much a one man band, really. And so I, I separate them by a few months. And if something sells, it's kind of worse. If something sells massive, it's kind of pushing... Does that make sense, Greg? It's pushing yeah. the next one that I planned for June when I go, well, I can't possibly... So right of now, when I... The Blackpool things are not online. They're just not. They're just for Blackpool, really. And then I'll try and release one about March, April, then one somewhere in the summer, and then a couple near the end of the year. That's great. That, that's great. That's and You've got a prime booth at Blackpool. You walk in down to the main dealer hall. You turn left. There you are. And I was speaking uh, to Peter Knight about this the other day. Uh, when I was speaking to Peter, I was talking to him about uh, about you, and I was going to be chatting to you. And he said he remembers in the old days that he was in the same aisle way as you, and he was down one end, and you were down the other yeah. end. And you call it Death Alley, because Death if Rob. Rob didn't get you, Peter <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is really true. We were at split ends. We were like book ends. I was at one end. When it was all the other way around, when when we ran uh, that uh, horizontal instead of vertical, instead of up and down. Um, yeah, I, I I didn't pay extra. I'm not, not in with the... People ask me sometimes, I didn't pay extra. I'm not in with the owners. or the. That's just my booth. It's a great pitch. I love being there. Uh, it really helps when they leave you where you are as well. I like that, that every year I'm there. 
yeah. then then the guys who want something know exactly where you are, don't they? I, I like that. You kind of work that area, don't you? You do, yeah. And and I've been lucky enough to see that your stuff that you've got coming out this year. And I think, and I'm not just saying this because you know I've got a reputation for saying what I think. I reckon this is the best lineup that you've had. Mm. Uh, definitely post COVID, but pre COVID, going back a few years, like the stuff that I've seen that you've got going out, you've got coming out of Blackpool this year is incredible. What what usually happens, and I try and be truthful as well, is normally you have a winner, don't you? And then you have a a one that might not be quite as good, and then you have three that are okay. And but but these are I'm I'm really really pleased with these, even though one is a rehash, and I admit that. I'll tell you why it's a rehash when you ask me. But the I'm really pleased with them. They're really, really good. I've just been to Columbus. I have a trick called Quartet that, honestly, people were bringing people. They were bringing people to say, just watch this. Uh, and yeah. you know then already, I've only been on five days and I've got emails going, uh, when, where can I find this Quartet trick? And you know straight away that, that that's a good sign, right? But well, if you I'll like visual, you. it looks amazing. For people that haven't seen this, um, and there's going to be a lot of people that haven't, there are going to be that you are going to have them at Blackpool. I've seen this, and let me describe what I saw. Mark pulled out two playing cards, um, and they were pre-folded into quarters. And there was a blue playing card, and there was a uh, red back playing card. Blue back playing card, red back playing card. He folds them up, so you've got the blue and the red folded up into like a Mercury card fold style. Yeah, it's just folded, isn't it? They're just yeah. folded in four quarters. Yeah, They're just folded in four, and you open and you fold them up. And then the only way I can describe it is Mark then did a multi-phase copper silver routine, but instead of using a copper coin and a silver coin, he's using these folded up cards. And he's doing it again and again and again. And he's doing it so ridiculously visually that I'm watching. And then the final phase, I swear to God, he's holding the, the, the folded up red one here, the folded up blue one here, and with no moves. And this isn't me making a bad copy. With no moves, he just did this. Not even a big shape to cover some sort of weird move. He just did that. They changed places, and then he opened them up. So you saw they were normal. His hands are empty. He's not stolen yeah. anything away. And that it's is really accurate. You don't Mark. steal anything away or add anything. I've been asked a lot if it's like uh, the tournament store, are you adding a piece, you know, but you don't add anything and you don't take anything away. It's just two cards. Um, looks visual, doesn't it, Craig? That last bit, because I, I didn't do all the patter for you, but that last bit when I say, you know what, I never do. I never let you see both of them. I mean, I couldn't cheat you, you know, I couldn't use slight. And then they just visually change places. Um, I, just, it's going to be great. I already can tell from the feedback. It's going to be knockout. That was something special. And it looks like this, by the way. I've got I've got packaging. Looks like that. That's great. And and you know the thing about it is, where I work, I do a lot of banquet tables. So I do a lot of table, uh, a lot of where you walking up to a banquet. There's ten or fifteen people. You have got to get the attention of everyone on the table. This is the sort of thing that you can do up here that people can see. Yeah, and you can do to a parlor show. You can do, but you can also do this walk around if you wanted to. It's 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 not like there's angles or there's sight problems. There's not. You can be right now, there, when but it's when the to see the I'm distance. Out. When when the change happens, when you see that blue one, when it turns into the red one, this is okay. really all round. This isn't a quarter that they're not allowed to look at or touch or you've got nothing. Uh, you, so when it changes, it, I was asked that a few times at Columbus. So after it's changed, you have to kind of cover a, a quarter, but you, but you don't. It, it looks oh. great, doesn't it? It's insane. And, I mean, obviously, you. I was lucky enough to see the method. It's an instant reset. You uh, put no it up, reset. you're ready to do it again. There's no angle issues. You can do it walk yeah. around. You don't really need a table. Uh, you got a nice little holder to keep them in. Uh, oh, geez, this is good, man. This is really yeah, good. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. I think people are really going to like it. Um, it. It's a very simple plot. It's not convoluted where you've got to remember four things. It's just a, it is, they don't even remember the value. I say you don't even need to. Just remember I've got one red and one blue. It could be a king and a seven. It could be a jack and a five. We don't care about the cards. And it, all they're really doing is focusing on one red and one blue card. 
Can't wait to show it at Blackpool. People are going to like it a lot. I think. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna love that. That's gonna that's gonna be. I I, I that has the chance of being the trick of the convention. Well, because we'll you know, see. like you know, like you buy a trick and then everybody like is showing it. They they open it up and then they get the method and it's easy enough for them to do straight away. So every night in the Ruskin and the House of Secrets, they're there doing it to each other. Yeah, this is going to be the trick. Everyone's going to be going around changing cards and going, look at this, look at this, look at this. Well, I hope you're right. Very cool. I hope you're right. That's a good sign, right? No magnets. Yeah. It's not It's not a flapping fall piece, you know. Um, that was a great trick. Um, I, I like him. The guy where you drop it and, and it changes. Lawrence. Nicholas Lawrence, yeah. Nicholas. yeah. But it's not that. It's not working like that at all. So I'm glad you liked it, really. You're, you're the first first UK person to see it, really. It's incredible. So, uh, well, as normal, the first thing I'm going to do on setup day is go over and buy everything, because that's what I do. Uh, so I'm really I'm not, pleased with that. I've got a, The next a, one I want to talk about, I'm, I want to talk about... You said to me, you kind of almost downplayed this one. You went, I've got a little Alan Morrison trick. Oh, yeah. This, is my sort of magic. I love this. I saw this and I was like, geez, that's great. I like Alan. I like yeah. his stuff. It kind of suits my my thing. It, it, I don't know. We're just a good fit. He normally sends me something first. They're not all what I like. He'll tell you that himself. But I thought it was really good that they assume the transposition. It, it's called Loco Logo. They assume there's going to be a transposition of two cards, but that doesn't happen at all. Um, what, what, the, again, what I saw here is you got a Sharpie marker, which is your normal Sharpie marker that you can use through your... That is a real Sharpie, want. by the way. You can use it all night. That's just a Sharpie. And I'm a big fan of that. Obviously, you know, I bought Chop Out. Like, you know, I yeah. love... If you're going to have a Sharpie with you, why not have it do something? Why yeah, not correct. have it do something? So you've got this Sharpie marker, right? You have a card picked, whatever the card is. They're holding on to the card. Yeah, and I do it with them holding it. I couldn't do that with you because you're on a camera, but they're holding the card. Yeah, they're holding on to this card. You've shown them the card. They know what it is. They're holding on to it. And then you just take this Sharpie and you say, look at the Sharpie logo. You tap. And now the Sharpie logo has changed into the suit of their card, like a two of spades, on the Sharpie. And then they turn the card over and where the logo, where the, uh, where the two of spades was, it's now the Sharpie logo. And you instantly just give it them and they just you give them both everything. pieces. You're not, you're not stealing one away. You give them both pieces. You know what I like with that? This is the sort of thing. I, I believe that when you're doing close up magic, there should be, you should load things down with magical moments. So if you're doing an ambitious card, it's like pick a card, sign a card. Great. Give me the pen. Just one second. While he's signing the card, can you do me a favor? Can you take a card? Great. Hold on to it there. Have you signed that card? Give me the pen. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. But it's about your signed card. And it's almost like... There should, there should be something happening all the time, shouldn't there? Yes. It's like when you just mentioned signing cards. I used to say in the shop all the time, that's such a quiet moment for so many performers. Can you sign this? And we get 30 seconds of total nothing, right? And I go, you should be doing something. At least yeah. delivering a gag or a line, you know, or something. But I, I think it's really, really good. I called it Loco Logo, which means crazy, you know, Loco in Spanish. You know, I'm in Spain, don't you? Yes, crazy indeed. Logo. Um, really, clean, really, really easy. Um, no major moves. Pretty simple. In fact, if you wish, you know, you can just say, let me show you this with the six of spades. Yeah. You don't have to even... You could just be doing that while they're signing something. Yeah, it's killer. It's absolutely, I love that. Fixes, you know, with this two of spades, five of spades, whatever. Let me, and you can just take it. In fact, when Alan pitched it to me, that's how he did it. He said, let me show you this with the, um, I think he had the seven of clubs or something. And he went, let me show you this with this seven of clubs. And he just took it out of the deck. That's killer. So that's I, killer. I think that's really good. Um, comes with Comes with the gaff pen. The specially printed card. Um, just for the audience, it's not the old thing where you're, you know, you have to cover the where the writing is. You really don't cover it, do you? Which oh, which I like awesome. a lot. Yeah, yeah I like it's that. Super commercial, super commercial. Very commercial. I um, I'll be doing four tricks for a hundred at Blackpool, but quartet will be in, local logo will be in. Um, there'll, there'll be some other stuff in there, which there is. Just try to remember what what will be in there. Uh, incredible will be in. I've got Incredible X now with, with a cross, which oh, uh, really? is going to be really good. Uh, that was a great seller for me, uh, Nicholas Dakin. Yeah. yeah I, I like great. the gaff. 
Yeah. The, the, the gaff has no trap doors, no rubber dams, no moving hole with a flap. I really like the gaff a lot. And people always ask me if I can make them in crosses. Making something in crosses is a lot different to punching four holes. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. We got a and this is this is the, the I remember doing this years and years and years ago, and this is one of the five uh, that you're bringing out to Blackpool. I remember doing this years ago and loving it. I think that with the crosses, it just really adds something, and the method is so much better than flaps. And I've seen versions. I remember seeing a version of this, and I've openly told Penguin this. I saw a version of it with crosses years ago called Neo. And I think it was by Nicholas Lawrence. And it was just not very deceptive. You couldn't really, you could see what was going on. The yeah. way that you actually created this gaffed card, it's so it's great. Like, it, you could you could be right on top of it. Right you don't on top have of to it. worry about angles. You don't have to worry about lighting no. considerations. No, everything's laser cut now. They're all laser cut. They're perfect. I've made them slightly different sizes now, which I didn't think of with the spot. It's funny, you just think of stuff as you go along, yeah. right? Um, and if, really, if people really don't know what this is, by the way, in essence, what you have here is somebody picks a card, signs the card, you yeah. take the card, you draw four crosses on the back of their card in four corners, and then you basically do a matrix style thing visually with no cover where the crosses are jumping into the corner. You can have them jump back and do a kickback if you want to. Correct. There's lots you of do a kickback. Options. Once you've got the actual gaff, there's going to be lots of different ways that you can go with this. But in essence, yeah. at the end, you hand them the card back. With the four in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Dined. Uh, I, I really like it a lot. So that, I'm really pleased with it. They, they came out really, really well. I've got another trick that I think is going to be fantastic at Blackpool called On Second Thoughts. Now, um, this On Second Thoughts, this is um, really strong. Really, really strong. The Gaz yeah, Lawrence. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant, uh, honestly. I, I, you know, I, I, I liked uh, the Shelby wallet that you did with Gaz last year. Me I too. I raved about that. I thought that was a great peak. That's why I worked with him again. I thought Shelby was great, and this is great as well. Yeah. Uh, just took you a, showed took me this, and I've got to be honest yeah, well, you showed me this, and it fooled me. I had no idea how it worked. It didn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, it's I got very it. clever. It's a little bit like, I'll tell you what it reminds me of a little bit, fine print by Jay Sankey, if you remember well, the old there's, fine print. There's, but, a credit, there's a credit to Jay at the end. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Was I can one see. or four cards? Was there four? Or there were I think it was just one. Specially, it was one, but... one specially printed card or four? I can't remember. You might have had but a couple a, or there's something. There's a proper but... credit to Jay in, on there at the end. But I don't want people to think this is fine print because it's not. Because oh, it's yeah, absolutely levels. not. To 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 select any from a shuffle deck that they've shuffled, and, and that's the to, thing. That then to name any a second person, name any. Not you can't have the six of diamonds. Not you can't have the. So if one's got black, the other names any red of. Yep. And then you find it in the best method. It's so clean. It's so yeah, good. And that's why it fooled me, guys. If you're watching this. I was given a deck of cards. The cards are shuffled. Genuinely, you can give the spectator the cards. The cards are shuffled. No ambiguity. Then you have someone pick a card. They pick a card. And you have them, whatever the color of that card is, you get somebody else name a card of a different color. No force at all. Any card. No. And then you tell them you're going to find the first person's card, then the second person's card. You find the first person's card. You can't find the second person's card. Remember... Right. They've shuffled at many different points in the routine. They've handled the cards. They can spread through the cards. They can do everything. And then at the end, they look at that ace of spades that the first person picked and the fine print. God, it's just, but it's a named card. It's ridiculous, man. I thought I thought he got lucky. I named the King of Diamonds and I went, well, you just got lucky, right? You, you, I can't, that's impossible, right? And he went, no, you can name any card you like. I'm like, well, I, I don't get it then. Uh, I think it's brilliant. I really, really so do. Commercial. So commercial. Really. Yeah, it's called On Second Thoughts. It's going to look like that. Um, really, really good. Really, really pleased. I hope that's in the shot. Yeah, um, looks great. It also, the method is great. The method's very, very new. When I show people what's happening, they're going to say, what is that? I mean, it's, it's got a special something in there that I've never seen before. And I've been around a while now. Gonna be that's good, killer, and that's killer. That is really, really strong. And and finally, because I know you're a busy man, 
last year in America, uh, a friend of mine called Jonathan Todd brought a guy over called Peter Hofstra. And he said, can Peter show you this coin gaff that he's, he's built? So of course, and he did a couple of routines. And I just stood there going, I, I have no clue what's happening. It's a shell, right? And he went, no. I, well, it's a sliding pit. And he said, no, it doesn't work like that. And then they came back and said, would you be interested? This is a year ago. Would you be interested in manufacturing it? So I ended up being involved in the manufacturing process. And um, we got about two hours of magic. Shooter Gower does fight. I mean, you should see what Shooter Gower does with this coin gaff. It, it's mental, oh, honestly. You, you, you shot, oh, my God. I mean, it, it's he... mental. Honestly, he does stuff and you stand there going, what's going on? And it's not that hard. I mean, it's not tough to do. Peter Hofstra does stuff. Oh, Curtis Cam's on there. Um, and then there's a guy called Kenshin who's, I, I, he puts, he's got a thing with a, a Sharpie and he puts a coin behind the clip and it visually changes. And then it completely changes with one flip. Then he gives you the coin. I'm like, how is that working? It, it really does look great. So there's about 10 routines and, and a couple of, there's a, a 45 minute session where six guys just come up with loads of stuff. Wow. It's really good. It's called Smoon. I mean, you've had a quick, uh, a brief, you, you're one of the lucky ones. It does look great, doesn't it? It looks incredible. It looks absolutely incredible. You sent me some videos. I was watching Shoot Do It. I was watching, oh my God. Yeah. I had to I'm send you a video because the only three I've ever had in my hand, I sent to Hawaii for the guys to film. I can't even go watch this. Not until Monday next week when I will have physically some in my hands or Tuesday, maybe. I'll leave Wednesday for Blackpool. Talk about cutting it fine. It'll come in Morgan, Liberty and Kennedy halves. They're all coming off the leaves this weekend or Monday. Um, absolutely brilliant. It's called Smoon, like sun and moon. And the best way I can describe it is it's like having a three-sided copper silver coin. Honestly, that's just what it's like. And it allows yeah. you to do... I've never seen... Uh, you're a copper silver guy. I know you do great stuff with it. I know you do. I've seen you. I know you do. But some of this this visual, you know, you've got a copper and you just go like this and now you've got a silver but and you show it the other side as well. You know, it, it looks really good. It does. Really, it really does. good. So I'm hoping that's going to be, I think that could be massive. I think people are really going to like it a lot. So there, that's where I'm at. This year's stuff is looking really good. Blackpool's upon us already. Can't believe it, man. We're getting old. Um, I'm, yeah, I, 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 it seems to go around. It seems to roll around faster every single year. It really I know. Is. And I've also cut down to just three events a year now. I'm only doing three things a year. I don't do anything else. Mm. I just do Columbus... Blackpool and um, Magic Live, that's all I'm doing, really. I, I'm kind of calling it a day from it, for a while, at least. Um, I'm getting a bit older and stuff. Hang on, let me just click that. I've got it. Just clicking. It keeps flashing up and I can't see you. I miss your <laughs> lovely face. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting in on Thursday, Blackpool, or Friday? I'm I'm getting in a few days early. I'm I'm taking the family. Uh, to, you know, we're going to hang out for a few days out there right. before it kicks off. So, Ryland's How's Ryan doing? the. How's Ryan? Well, is he doing well? He's in the family entertainer of the year competition at Blackpool. So he he's probably, uh, he probably bloody win it, won't he? He's got a good act, so who knows? You never know. I don't but, know. Good luck to him. Good yeah, luck to him. But, seriously, I I see him post all his stuff all the time. He's always on there. He's active and. I told you before, in, in real life now, not video, the only way it'll get better, you know the secret, you've got to keep performing. Flight time. That's all it is, flight time. It's not a secret. Nope. If, you, if you just sit in your house and never show anyone, you never, ever improve, ever. Yeah, the only you way. Get, to get yeah, yeah. you got and, to put a bit of time you in. Know, he's, uh, he, Russ Brown at the House of Secrets, one of the organisers of Blackpool. Uh, I'm so thankful for him because he, he does stuff has, there a lot, doesn't he? Ryan like does one of the stuff there a lot, doesn't he? There, so he's there an awful yeah. lot doing stage shows. Yeah. So, uh, you know, at the age of 10, 11, he's there doing like two 45 minute spots every night. Like, you know, so I mean, that's that's, that's pretty like. impressive, you know, 45 minutes. Oh, two 45 you know? minutes, the same crowd. He does a 90 minute show with a 40, with an interval. 
<laughs> that's crazy. I know you're super proud of him, and so you should be. Really, but uh, really so you're going to come up early, are you? We're coming up for a few days earlier, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, well, Wednesday, Wednesday, I fly in on Wednesday afternoon. Um, yeah, Wednesday, build up Thursday, see a, a bit of my family on Thursday, and then working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But um, I'm glad you like the new tricks. I'm glad you're as enthusiastic as I am. Um, sometimes you do all this stuff, and it's only you seeing them, and you go, this is good, right? This is amazing. I'm not just saying it, mate. This is the best lineup you've ever had. There's nothing. And, and what I like about your range is it's so eclectic. You know, you've got you've got you've got something for everybody there. Yeah. You know, for the cool Cards guys. And stuff, the... Yeah, and stuff with pens, and I try and do a bit of different methods and different stuff. I try and do a few different things. So, so that's always good as well. Uh, that keeps me a bit interested as well. If every single thing was the same, I'd go. Yeah, you know, this is it's a long a lot of work for for that. But um, the and you'll do can... your you'll do your thing great. that you do every year at Blackpool as well, where it's the best trick that you do every year. You know the name of literally everybody that walks past that booth. There's five thousand magicians in Blackpool, I, and I'm every single old. one of them you know personally. I don't know if I know everyone, but um, I'm getting <laughs> old, and people come up to me now and cover the badge. You go, who am I? And I go, oh, shoot, I, I, I do know you. I'm getting old. I'm telling you that. I, I, you're right. I used to be mustered at names. I knew everybody. You did. You know, I, yeah. I, their wives and their kids and they go, that's <laughs> impressive now i'm just old i guess but um yeah uh, I'll, I'll be trying hard and and hopefully it'll be great um all the tricks are made except for that one coin gaff and they're they're on the last finish now we're we're just re the 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 opposite edges and that'll be it done i've been making some coin gaffs myself all all this year i've been really really I learning know. Uh, and are you going to have? Are you going to have some of your coins as well, as well as the range? Oh yeah, gonna... I always yeah. have double deception and triception and some expanded stuff and some shells and your favourite fifty p. I might have a couple of them and um, I'll, 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 I'll have something somewhere. Of course, I will. Um, so we'll be trying super hard. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, always great to get some some fee. It's great to get out there because, like I just said, you never quite know until you do the stuff. I was in Columbus, Ohio last week at the Magi Fest and absolutely knocked it out of the park. People were going, you've got to come and see these tricks. So that's great, isn't it? You can't do better than that. Can't do better than that. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're going to... You get, you're going to sell out. You're going to get, you know what? I, I, yeah. I, you always do this. You always sell out by about halfway through the Sunday and then disappear. So everybody yeah. else is there and you just disappeared by about two o'clock on the Sunday. Your booth's gone and there's a little sign saying, thanks, you missed out. See you next year. Yeah. Well, I hope <laughs> that works. I mean, um, and, and the funny thing is I keep saying, well, put a bit more in, throw a few extra. You know, one of these years you're going to have just too much stuff, I guess, but it's a big crowd, isn't it? Nearly 5,000, 4,000, whatever. It's a, it's a lot of people. Yeah. People are emailing me all the time. They've been for weeks. Can what, Have you got new tricks? Can you do this? Can, I don't reveal anything, not even secretly to... I say, yeah, I'll have some stuff and I'll have it at Blackpool. The first real reveal I do is with you because uh, you always have been good to me. And then I send a little newsletter out saying, hey, guys, come to the stand and see some cool tricks. That's amazing. Well, Mark... Thank I'm going you. to let you do some work. I know you're busy and I know you've got other people waiting, but um, I, I'm dead serious now. I mess around and stuff. I always like to say thank you for giving me half an hour or so. Uh, you, you do a brilliant job. You work really, really hard. I made fun of you earlier, but you've had some brilliant releases. I mean, you're knocking out of the park. You deserve everything. And uh, I know how hard a work it all is. It's a ton of work. It really is. And I really appreciate it, mate. It is a lot of hard work. Uh, <laughs> you and I both know that. Yeah, it's really yeah. hard work. All these tricks don't just appear and they're not just there, you know. Yeah, that quartet thing, yeah, you know, I've probably got six, seven weeks in build time mm -hmm. for Blackpool, not for a year for Blackpool. Probably yeah. got six weeks of build time, you know. You, you want to take a nice amount, right? You need 100, 200 of them. It takes weeks to put them together. So oh. I know, Arj, you've been working, buddy, and... um. Uh, you do a brilliant job on on what you do. Thank you so much, Mark. And I want everybody who's watching this to do two things. First of all, go to Mark's website. If you're not coming to Blackpool, a lot of the stuff 
uh, uh, that Mark Harris is on there. You can go and check that out. There's a USA site. There's a UK yeah. site. I'm going to put the links in the description down below. Go check it out. And while you're on there, go and sign up to Mark's uh, newsletter as well because he doesn't spam you, but he will let you know when he's going to be at a convention, when new stuff's coming out. It's worth looking at that as well. And uh, look, the first thing you should do when you come to Blackpool, forget about the lectures, forget about everything else. Just walk down <laughs> into the door, turn left, three booths down on the right-hand side, look for Mark and Trish, and that's where you need to go first. Because trust me, I know from experience, if you leave it till Sunday, think you're going to get a good deal, all you're going to get is a handwritten note saying, see you next year. Because that's what <laughs> always happens. <laughs> all right, Craig, on that then, shall we say see you next year, my friend? I'll let you do see some you work. See you next year, my friend. It's been brilliant, Craig. I'll see you at Blackpool. All the best. Take care.